Hello, so one last uh, uh, step on your build is to do the alignment on the FET that controls the gain of the compressor. So to start off with, go ahead and set it up with gain all the way down, phantom off, sidechain filter off, compression all the way down, attack and release all the way to the fastest, which is the farthest clockwise. Uh, and then the output is going to be around here, and then you'll adjust it. So I have uh, a plus 4 dBU signal going in. I'm seeing that from my uh, signal source on my work on my workbench. Uh, you could certainly use uh, the oscilloscope uh, function generator in the lab, or you could use your audio interface uh, to just send a plus 4 signal out. To make sure it is a plus 4 signal, you can use a voltmeter um, and then adjust your and measure your signal source with the voltmeter between hot and cold so you're getting 1.23 volts RMS which is plus 4 dBU um, a lot of audio interfaces have a volume control so you can't always be sure that they're exactly the voltage you want uh, as long as you're close to 1.23 volts RMS you'll be fine um, so again AC voltmeter uh, will give you an RMS value. Uh, this is doesn't really have any signal going to it right now, which is why it's kind of bouncing around. Um, since you're going in XLR into your box, you might need uh, an adapter like this. So you can take the XLR from your signal source and then easily connect that to your AC voltmeter. So I'll do that and we'll see that I've got 1.19 volts RMS so I'll adjust that to be 1.23 so I can get it. That's a really precise adjustment so That's going to be fine as long as we're pretty close. 1.2, 1.3 volts RMS is totally fine. So now I know the signal going in is the level I want. That goes into the 20 dB pad that's included with your kit and to the input of your preamplifier compressor. Then I've got my output connected to a different adapter I have that allows me to go from quarter inch to alligator clips. And then connecting that to my meter. So now I'm measuring the output level of my preamp compressor with the meter. And I know that I'm sending plus four dBU into it. So now, if you want to, you can check. I know I'm getting signal because compression is lighting up. So now I'm just going to adjust my output to get 1.23. So that's good. Um, I also have a uh, set of LED or set of VU meters, mechanical VU meters that I use. Um, that makes it a lot easier. If you want to go out of this into your uh, workstation, your audio interface, and you can use the metering there to do this as well. Um, yeah, and the exact output level is not really crucial. What's crucial is how much we change the output level when we do the adjustment we're gonna do. So, and one of the bad things about digital multimeters like that, this is that they, they're often not, incredibly accurate for audio measurement. So you notice this is moving around a bunch um, where my audio meter is not. So just note that. But we want to be around 1.23 volts. Then you're going to take your small screwdriver from your toolkit. Um, I have a different one on my bench than you will have. Um, so this one's actually special for doing this. It has a little circle around it. 
And then you're going to adjust this blue trimmer potentiometer while looking at the output level. You want to adjust this clockwise until the level increases as much as it can. And that's, I've got it all the way clockwise now. If I turn it counterclockwise, I should eventually see a reduction in level. And there you see both the VU meter and the uh, digital multimeter going down. So turn that back up until it doesn't increase anymore. And I'm back to around 1.23. And now I want to turn it counterclockwise until I reduce the gain by 1 dB. Again, that's really easy on this meter. But for the voltmeter, that means going down. And once it starts changing, you might see a real quick change. So I'm turning it, just barely touching it. So there were 1 dB down. And we've gone down from 1.23 to 1.1. So about... Uh, 0.13 volts RMS reduction in level. And what this does is it sets the JFET transistor to just be in conduction, so it's just starting to gain reduce, and this puts you in the right spot for um, the compression beyond that. If you would like to, you can certainly play with this adjustment and listen and see what putting it at 2 dB of gain reduction to start with, or even right at where it just starts to move, that changes how the FET reacts, uh, and you might find a place you like better than this setting. Uh, this is the one I like best for this design. It's also really close. It's also what you do for an, 11, an 1176 if you were to uh, Q-bias an 1176. Um, so this is not a clone of 1176, but it's very much inspired by that circuit. Uh, so this has the same sort of adjustment for the, the JFET. Uh, so once you've done that, you are set to use your unit. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime this summer or next year, whenever you're building it. Thanks a lot.